Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to supercharge your automation to Beam and G cars. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is actually have cars in automation that you want to test in Beam and G Drive. So what happens basically is you send the car, you go to export car while you're in automation and that goes into the Beam and G.Drive mods folder. Uh, and then from there we can actually do everything we need to supercharge your cars. Alright guys, so now we're inside the Beam and G.Drive mods folder and how to get there you can see we go to your computer or this pc documents then the beamng.drive then the mods now your mod area your mod directory your mod file uh, might be in a different spot for your computer this is where most of you guys it should be and this is where mine is so what we have to do now and i've already downloaded the supercharger mod yours will probably just be on like the desktop or in your downloads folder or wherever it is mine is just on my desktop i just like to have it inside my mods folder just for ease of use um, so what you have to do here is basically we can copy this supercharger mod, but you can just go right click, copy, or control C. Then we have to open up the actual beamng.drive mod and put it inside of that. Uh, I've got two cars right here, the Allrunner XTS, and we've got the Allrunner XTS Costco Tuned. Uh, the Costco Tuned one has a turbocharged engine, the XTS non, this regular one right here, just has a naturally aspirated engine. So I'm going to put the supercharger on both, just so we can show you guys that you can use it on a naturally aspirated or a turbo engine. It does replace the turbocharger, but you know, you can either have a turbocharger or a supercharger, your choice. So what we're going to do is go into the Allrunner XTS, we can just double click this. I've got WinRAR to open up the Beam and G mod here. Uh, you guys can use WinRAR, it's totally free, or you can use another program to open it up. So what we do is just open this up. Exit out of that, uh, oh, and we'll see right here we've got this tab open. Then from there we can go to Vehicles, All Runner XTS, and then right here we'll see, or it'll be whatever your vehicle's name is, mine's just called the All Runner XTS. Uh, and we've got a bunch of information here, this is all the Beam and G stuff, we've got a bunch, we've got some JBeam files, and a bunch of other files as well. So what we have to do here, we can go Control V, or we can go right click and paste, we'll just use Control V even, and go OK. So you can just paste that inside there by Control V, and you can find it camso underscore super dot jbeam so that's the supercharger mod right there it's already in there well i just place it in there i guess uh there is one last step super easy we have to find the camso underscore engine dot jbeam file which is right here and looks like a little notepad file for me we open that up using notepad uh then we have to find out we'll see this line right here and again all this will be in the description if you guys want to follow along with that too so let's see this information right here there is slots bracket type default description then when this is camso transmission, camso transmission, and transmission. So in between this, there's an empty space. You can just press tab three times there, or use a space bar to get there. And we have to type in one super simple line of code. Okay, so I've got the piece of code. All I have to do is copy it. So you can go, you know, you can highlight it and then copy it. And you can just paste it in here. The actual code I'll, I'll put in the description of the video. So you can just copy and paste that right from the description of the video into there. Uh, so it is open bracket camso turbo forced induction so that allows us to have a turbocharger slot on the vehicle uh and i'll show you what it looks like on turbocharged cars there's only there's one slight difference so that's how we do it for a naturally aspirated engine we can close all of this out and it's going to ask if you want to save it you update the archive yes you want to save that exit out of it now that's completely done now we'll hop into the xts costco tuna this one already has the supercharger in it i put it in there already so we can open this up exit out there vehicles r runner xts and we'll go to the camso engine now this one is a turbocharged vehicle that already has a turbocharger, so it's already got a chunk of line in there. This one just says turbo, turbocharger, uh, but we can just change the force induction too, so you can choose which one you want, but you can just leave a default. So it'll, it'll by default, just say cams with turbo, cams with turbo, turbocharger. We can exit this out. You can go don't save. We don't even need to save that. And I just drag the supercharger into here as well. So we got camso underscore super dot jbeam. So the supercharger's in there. Uh, I'll hop into Beam and G Drive and just show you guys quickly uh, how it all works. And finally, we're in Beam and G Drive with my All Runner XTS. This is just the V8 one, the naturally aspirated. It's got a V8. We can see it underneath here. We can rev it up. Sounds pretty good. Sounds fine. So if you want to press, if you want to get the supercharger on, you can just press Escape or get to the menu up on the side here. Go to Vehicle Config. We can go to Automation Export of the Engine. Click that drop down. Forced induction. Now there's an option here for forced induction. If they don't have that little line of code in there, then that won't that won't show up. You can go empty and then supercharger. Then we can put the supercharger on and take it off whenever. So if we just leave it like as is, it's making boost. We can see it's making boost. And if we actually go to this, we can actually see the supercharger is on just using the power graph of the vehicle. Take a look at the old power versus the new power, uh, the torque curve. 
you can see here, NA makes 350 or 319 pound feet of torque and 325 horse or 300 pound feet and 325 pound feet of torque while with the supercharger. So it makes horse more horsepower and torque with the supercharger. And if you guys want to turn up the boost, you can tune it yet again by going to tuning. And you can change the gear ratio. That's going to mostly just change the sound. We can hear the supercharger now. Sounds pretty cool. We can go back here. We can increase the pressure per 1k RPM. So this is the boost pressure. So 3 PSI per 1000 RPM. We'll apply that. We can see here now the vehicle makes a lot more horsepower. Makes about 2,100 horsepower and 1,500, 1,600 pound-feet of torque. It's pretty impressive, I think. Doesn't sound the most realistic, but it's a supercharger. And now if we actually hop into our other vehicle, which is the turbocharged one, we can do the Costco tuned, which is the turbocharger. Okay, so we are now in the Costco tuned XTS. This one has the 4-liter uh, straight 4 uh, with a turbocharger, so it makes a bit more power. This is how much power it has right now. You can see it says about 425 or 420 pound-feet. And 250 or so horsepower. Now what we can do actually is, again, go to tuning. We can actually tune nothing here. We can go tuning the supercharger. So right now it's on turbocharger. We can change that to supercharger. And already, you can see here the power curve is different. It makes pretty much the exact same horsepower as the NA engine. Not very much. So we can yet again tune that. More power, more gear ratio, or less gear ratio, whatever you want, just so we can see it work. So now it makes... Uh, about 1,100 horsepower and about 900 or so pound-feet of torque. That's pretty impressive, I think. The supercharged 4-liter four 4-cylinder. Four Definitely a pretty unique engine. Uh, that's pretty much the gist of it. If you guys want to add, you can actually take the J-Beam file and just modify it and add more, more tuning capability. It's totally, it's, it's super easy to actually add more. This is just a super basic thing that I wanted. Uh, this is the one I actually used in my video, too, so we can just turn this down even to what it was. Just drive it, even. Drive pretty much fine. Pretty much fine. Totally fine. But yeah, that, that's that, that's the gist of the supercharger mod. I will put everything again down in the description. Uh, I'll put in the description uh, where to put the file or where to get the file from. And then where to put everything. It's pretty easy. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. I will answer it as best as I can. Um, and yeah, if you guys want to see some more tutorials, let me know as well. Uh, thank you guys. And if you guys haven't seen my supercharged build, check out my last build. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, I guess. Uh, and as always... I'll see you next time.